hello friends today we are going to see the next lesson that is balance in nature nature surrounding the surrounding in which we live is called environment now what is this environment made up of environment is made up of two components biotic components abiotic components all living things comes in biotic component and all non living things like air water sunlight temperature soil these come in abiotic components as we have studied about how plants animals and human beings are depending on one another for the survival now dependency of animals on abiotic components we'll see how animals are depending on a biotic component animals need water for uh, drinking they drink the water from different sources like ponds lake river animals also need air for respiration now the animals living on the land eat the food available on the land like grass plants and small animals whereas the animals like fish and other aquatic creatures those who live in the water they survive on the plants grown in the water and some small insects present in the water dependency of plant on a biotic component even though the plant make its own food plants prepare their own food so they are called as autotrophs plants use the abiotic components such as air water and sunlight to prepare or to carry the process of photosynthesis photosynthesis is the process of making food by the green plants there are some plants which are known as insectivorous plants insectivorous plant means these plant eat the insects like venus fly trap sun dew and pitcher sorry sun dew and pitcher plant these are called as insectivorous plants now we will see dependency of human being on a biotic component human beings are depending on the environment like human being need air to respire water to drink to bathe and for daily workout also water is useful for building the constructions planting watering the plants and for farming other than this human beings are depending on sunlight for warmth they need soil to grow crops thus all living beings depend on a biotic component present in the environment for their survival we will see the next point that is food chain the food chain represents means depicts the relationship between the plants and animal through food it is defined as the transfer of energy from one organism to another which is called energy flow as you can see in the picture plants are producer herbivores are the primary consumer and carnivores are the secondary consumer the given picture shows the herbivores depending on the plant for food and the carnivores depending on the flesh of herbivores for food the big animals and the strong animals use weak and small animals for their food in this way the food chain is completed there are many different food chains in the surrounding these there are various food chains existing in the nature the interconnection of food chain is called food web 
we will see example of food chain a small example is given a plant is shown the mouse is shown snake and hawk mouse is depending on the plant snake is depending on the mouse whereas hawk is depending on the snake these are the food different different food chains what is balance in nature there is a natural balance maintained between all living things in the food chain but if any one reason for any one reason even a single link of food chain is broken the balance is disturbed for example if as long as enough grass is available herbivores would continue to live hence the carnivores too would have plenty of food but if there is a scarcity of grass the population of herbivores would become less as a result the wild animals would start hunting domestic animals in the nearby villages hence the balance in the nature would get disturbed we can, we hear the news of leopards entering the human vegetation these are what these are the example of balanced disturbed balance in the nature disturbed balance in the nature we also have seen the elephants entering the human vegetation these are nothing but the examples of by uh, disturbance in the balance how does the balance get disturbed by population growth environmental pollution and hunting and killing insecticide and pesticides excess use of these things now how population growth affects the environment or balance in the nature as population increases beyond limit it becomes difficult to survive or it becomes difficult to meet the daily needs of the human being so the forest have been cut down to grow more and grow more crop and to build the shelter for human beings environmental pollution by using the vehicles or by building the industries the pollution is increased due to which the toxic substances enters into air and water and land and affect the health of living beings hunting or hunting and killing as man is depending on the animal right from the stone age even today animals are been hunted and killed either for pleasure or for making items from them body parts due to this many species of wild animals that once existed on the earth become extinct for example we cannot see the pink headed duck mountain quail dodo snow leopard as there existed extinct animal now insecticide and pesticide due to excess use of insecticides and pesticides in the crop in the field for getting good yield we have naturally killed the insects which are directly the food for frogs and other in animals now how to safeguard the balance in nature safeguarding the nature stop cutting trees and grow more and more trees reduce the use of chemicals in the farm try to reduce the waste rather reuse it create public awareness for the protection of environment and wildlife stop hunting and killing of animals and many other examples can be done to save the environment